Hi everyone, this is Brian and I'm Zach. Tonight, we are excited to introduce you to Imposter Blocker, a new way to detect phishing attacks on the internet. Hackers and cyber criminals are creating websites designed to steal your credit cards, your social security numbers, and other sensitive data. A new phishing website is created every two seconds, and for large organizations, the cost to deal with these attacks approaches $4 million per year. 60% of the time, businesses aren't even finding these things first. They're coming in through angry customers. I'm a security lead at Microsoft. Brian is a security lead at rising LA startup joinhoney.com. Together, we have over a decade of relevant industry experience. And Brian, why don't you tell them about our solution? The user experience is focused on being simple and accurate. I'm gonna show you a demo that's been sped up, but it's gonna start with me entering in a URL. We abstract away the analysis process for the user so they can get to a report and see the findings that we found for them. Here's an example of a finding. It has the URL, screenshot of the website, as well as information regarding uh, who set it up. Now I know this looks simple. That was intentional. We removed extraneous information from the report so the user can focus on the data that really matters. Don't let the simplicity fool you though. We leveraged a multidisciplinary approach to generate all this information. Now, there's a few other players in this market, and that's great. We welcome the competition. Thanks to the great tech that Brian mentioned earlier, our detection accuracy is a full 16% higher than today's industry leader. This translates into massively reduced risk to your organization. Here's where we are today. We have a functional MVP to demonstrate the technology. We've also filed provisional utility patents to protect our innovation. Going forward, we have a couple of strong pilot programs in our pipeline. We've been talking to a lot of folks in our network and are getting extremely positive feedback. We couldn't be happier. We were reaching agreement with Raytheon and AT&T to conduct a pilot to gather their user stories and to refine our product market fit. My favorite part about the model is that we can use our own tech to discover high quality sales leads at a competitive price point of $7,000 per URL per year, we expect to hit $2 million in revenue by end of 2018. Today, we're looking to connect with investors interested in a security BDE opportunity and work with us on the next stage of our journey. We'd be delighted to take your questions at this time. Thank you. You breezed through the, uh, the demo pretty quickly. What exactly, who is going to this site and, and why? And what prompts them to go to it? Oh, sure. So the demo is intended to show how we're going to send reports to uh, enterprise customers. And basically, they're going to see all of the phishing attacks that are occurring against their online websites. So a large company may have many websites, and we would show them uh, the attacks that are going on. The demo is just an example of, say, an analyst uh, entering in a URL to retrieve the results for that company. So just we get it straight. Um, you have enterprise customers that pay you $7,000 per URL to crawl the web to find duplicates or, or, or things that look like their website or feel like their website? Precisely. That's the current pricing um, for other competitors in this space. Okay, what was the $40 million problem in the first or second slide? That seems like a really small number. Oh, that was uh, four even. That's the average organizational impact like per company per year. It only cost them $4 million per company per year? Right, that's a Ponemon um, estimate. Seems small. Not your company, the $4 million problem. If Bank of America only has a $4 million problem, um, it doesn't seem like something they should care about that much. I think it's, it's a multitude bigger than that. Sure, and of course that's an average and can vary depending on the size of the organization and the nature of the attacks that they face. I could look for a bigger number, maybe a maximum. What do the companies do when they find the, these imposters? Right, so one of the first things they'll do is work with the ISPs or domain registrars and work with uh, law enforcement to take them down. Thank you.